It's amazing opening your mind up to other people's perspectives. We were bringing folks from all kinds of backgrounds together and you knew it was gonna be messy. And so what did we do? We leaned into that. When you're in a group and your ideas are doing this, right? Your ideas are clashing. And this seems like there's no middle ground. I think that people that are more open, they kind of go with the, okay, well, we'll just let you lead. But the problem with that in a true team setting is that that's not the point because there's an end product that you all will be judged by. And each group went through that at different stages. You're kind of thrown into a deep end of like, here's what you have to do, here's the people you're working with, make something happen. For a couple of weeks, it was one person taking control of everything. You know, so we all sat down and gave each other tough love, like we need to fix this. Collaborating isn't a one person job, you know? You gotta be able to listen to everyone and hear everyone. Being in a group with different people was necessary. It kind of was challenging to just sit there and like listen without wanting to just jump in and be like, well, no. Taking everything in and actually listening is like the key in film. It's important to be able to comprehend everyone's opinions and thoughts and listen. And, and at first the conversation was just like, everyone was at their throats, you know? But when we were listening to each other more, then we were able to like make something better. In the end, I love how we all were able to settle back down, go back to the drawing board and figure out, okay, we all want this same thing. You know, what do we have to do to get to that point? And I think that's what really helped us all come through in the end. When you hear more feedback, your mind kind of expands a little more and you're like, oh, I didn't look at it from this perspective. So everyone had their own part, but it was always collaborative. Yeah, we were dancing on